I need to really step up my game. I'm looking at what other people are doing and how they're doing their podcast with the different angles and the different scenes and shit and just going to st- and just going straight into the content. I don't know if you guys have heard about Mr. Beast and how he's been creating his content. And he just started just like this, you know, in his bedroom, blah, 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 started his you know channel. And then 10 years down the line, he's there making you know, freaking billions. He's making videos where he's spending three million on a freaking video, three million dollars on a video. That's mental, even to just think about it. It's about the knowledge that he has accumulated over the years. And and he was just talking about this in one of his videos. And he was saying that he's always constantly thinking about how to improve his videos. It really got me thinking because there's never a time in my life that I'll ever say that I've made the best video. Even the videos that I've looked, I looked at the previous videos that I've made, all my live content has gotten maybe 50, 60 views. But if you look at the, the videos that I made, which were just short 10 second clip videos, like the Globe Shoe Review video, that video got over 1200 views. And what was I talking about? Shoes. It was a quick 10, 15 minute video, straight to the point, talked about the shoes and it was done. And it got 1200 views. Uh, I'm doing live sessions here, you know, and these sessions are like one hour long. People are getting, you know, bored and distracted and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, I need to condense my content down to like maybe 10, 15 seconds, uh, 10, 15 minutes. And I think that's really going to improve my content. There's always something that you can do to improve your content. Uh, you know, try a different angle. Now this is like a wide angle with no logos and no crazy fancy stuff. You know, just try and experiment with different angles and see what freaking works. Do you get more clicks with this? Do you get more engagement with this type of content? You know, and I, I, I really looked at some of the topics. I've talked about a lot of topics and I'm looking at some of the topics that I've discussed. And I think there are a couple of topics that I feel like have really hit the, you know, uh, hit the ground running and, I, and I've gotten a lot of engagement with those topics. So I think I'm going to focus more on those, maybe make a series out of those or something like that. Experiment with different angles and stuff. So there were like the two main points that I got out of that video that I watched about Mr. Beast explaining how he got so much enga- engagement and views. And it was just two things. Just two things. And I really loved it. I'm going to just make this as short as possible. The first point that he talked about was the criticism that he was getting from his friends. You know, when when Mr. Beast started out in in the beginning and he would share his content with his friends and all, all his friends just told him, yeah, it's really good. It's really good. It's really good. But if everyone tells you it's really good, then why the fuck are you not getting a million views? If you're, if I share this video with you and then you just, you know, you message me back and just tell me, yeah, it's really good. I really like the content. Yeah. But then if it's really good, why the fuck am I not getting a million views? Why the fuck am I not going viral? If this content was really good, you have failed. You, I've, I've got fake friends. You know, all these people that I share these videos with on my status on WhatsApp and I, you know, I message you guys here, I'm live here, go check out my content. Then you just post one comment. Yeah, it's really good. Or you give me like a like or whatever. Yeah, but that's not really helping me. I need you guys to sit down and tell me, hey, you know what? You can improve by saying this. You can improve by doing this. Give me some criticism. Give me some criticism. And I think that was the best point that he made when he was saying like, all my friends just keep telling me my videos are good. Yeah, my videos are good, but I'm not making, I'm not getting the views and the attention that I need when I'm creating the content. People are not finding it entertaining. Why? They need to give me, I need to share my videos with people that can actually give me actual criticism and tell me that yes this is what you need to improve on your content this is maybe try a different angle maybe because look i'm going to be very honest with you guys man i'm a freaking introvert i I don't have that personality that other people have out there that are just so jarring and crazy you know those kind of guys will get views instantaneously because they're just crazy and stupid but you and I were just normal people with normal personalities. My personality is a shit personality. This is, I'm a simple, boring person that just sits in front of the computer all day. Uh, you know, it, it. <laughs> so how can I improve on my content? And I need to think about, I need to think about what topics am I discussing, right? How am I presenting this content? Am I trying different angles? Yeah, I need to make it entertaining. So the second point that I really liked about what Mr. Beast was talking about was If you finish watching this video, it needs to entice you to watch the next video that I've created, not going back to whatever the freaking hell you were doing, Uh, you know, your, your porn hub or whatever. (laughs) After, after you finished watching this video, I want you to be like, Hmm, this guy said something interesting. I wonder what he's going to say in the next video or what has he said in the previous video? That's the kind of content I need to be creating. 
I need to be focusing on if I've created this video today and you've watched it for five, 10 minutes, when this video ends, I want to make you feel like, holy crap, I need to go and watch his previous video. What was he talking about before that? Yeah, so let's just see. I mean, this is a new different freaking format now. I'm not doing the whole, just my face with the live chats, but just me talking in front of the freaking camera like this with a wide angle. I think this is, this is awesome. I'm still gonna be experimenting with different angles different lighting and all that kind of stuff this is natural lighting so i don't need my sunglasses on so i'm gonna i'm gonna experiment with all these different things and just see what really sticks